This is a very special watercolor sketchbook. A friend helped me bookbind this, by the way. And it's almost made from recycled materials. Well, the binding is made of recycled materials. And the watercolor papers I sewed, sewed them myself. And it was painstaking work. It was worth it, but it was also painstaking work. I did it partly because watercolor sketchbooks were really expensive and I, as a beginner I didn't want to spend too much money on sketchbooks so here we are January 12th 2019 I really love painting orcas one of the first paintings I made was for my sister and it was an orca she put it at the back of her phone for display this is my dream home the first version of it this is the more expensive watercolors I bought this one too this one's a whale shark I had fun splashing around I think for this sketchbook that I find this is the first one that I really made because these two are just stuck in here And here we have Catriona the Grey, Miss Universe 2018 and my 2019 banner. Quickly I want to show this. I wanted to create I wanted to minimize the use of black for the hair, so I used blue. And I also wanted to make a contrast between the blue and the reds. And I wanted to add some gold there. That wasn't really there on the reference photo, but I wanted to add more and you can see my start of the mistakes I make in anatomy I'm still learning but this was the earlier stage color bones I think are off anyways moving on landscaping first few attempts um, we went on a family trip it was really beautiful it's like a private beach and yes I never really understood how to do that <laughs> still I'm still learning Martimuna I tried to do the skies and this one's supposed to be a deer I think I saw the reference online but I never really understood how to create it or I had I had this vision in my mind but it didn't turn out the way I wanted to I tried to save it to make it look like a deer by adding these white streaks from my white pen. It's okay, but not really what I envisioned. Flowers, since I'm very introverted, I went to this party and I just drew the centerpiece. I painted rather the centerpiece. I was really excited. I just received my new watercolor set, which I also swatched here. I like this. I think I should practice flowers again. <laughs> and here we have this one. I saw it in the National Geographic Instagram account and I wanted to learn how to paint animals because people, I was iffy with painting people at the time because of the details so I wanted to try animals. They were colorful and I was really satisfied with this one. This was a, a big motivation to finish this whole sketchbook. You can see. I made some mistakes over here that I tried to cover up. But I really like the background. And here we have our pet. His name is Tiger. I placed a flower on his head. A Kansashi one. The one made of cloth. Folded. It's like a Japanese art. I wanted to make this in that style where you do a loose stroke where you don't really add definition but the combination draws your eyes to it. I can't explain it but you can observe from this too that the portrait of Tiger has some really loose edges while well, this one's really sharp. And I like it either way. Maybe I want this to be framed. But let's see. Yes, I can have this framed because the back is just 
the time when I missed coffee and I wasn't allowed to drink it. This one too. I wanted to paint a peacock but I wasn't so sure about painting the whole body because the feathers were really intimidating. I also got the reference photo from either the National Geographic Instagram or the Discovery Channel Instagram, a uh, Discovery Network Instagram page. And this one. If you saw my Anna Karenina fan art of Evgenia Medvedeva, this was my sample. I tinkered with this first on how to do the background for her fan art. I wasn't really sure if I would add a train and I wanted to just suggest, somehow suggest the mood. It was gloomy and it was dim. I also want the colors to clash as well as complement so I tried to create this somehow a Victorian lamp post if that makes sense and I wanted to create the atmosphere around it. I want it to be gloomy or gloomy, dim but somehow lit or illuminated by this yellow light. I'll show I think I'll show that fan art somewhere on the screen for you to see and then another trip to the beach which I tried to do more landscaping this time I think I kind of nailed it and I wanted to produce my own style so you can see I'm experimenting on the lines over here and how I rendered the water and the clouds I added negative spaces for the clouds and made the sky blue this one is I wanted to combine line art in a way or adding lines to my watercolor paintings and this was the setting outside of my aunt's house well it was in construction you can see here I like this part the best I can't explain it I like this part the best and you can see the other parts are kind of scraggly so out of this whole painting I like this the best I'm sorry I think you can hear my cat in the background and on the left side I just copied the dojo kun which I copied off of the internet I used to practice karate a long time ago and for this one this is one of my favorites ever Avatar Kiyoshi is my favorite avatar and to make a fan art of her was really a pleasure and plus other avatar fans appreciated this fan art as well which makes me happy I can spass with them and she now has a book which I'm so happy about too and I like the colors as I said before on the Catriona the painting I really wanted to explore adding blue and red together and her makeup is awesome my explanation for the blue eyes, by the way, is that I saw this shot. Maybe her eyes were just reflected blue because they were green. And plus a scene, I'll just add the photo somewhere there. And I thought, why not add blue because it's my painting? I don't know. <laughs> I just felt that blue was gonna go with the whole thing. And there we have it. And more food. I'm really proud of this one. We ate at a Japanese restaurant and I really love how this turned out. Wish I can remember how I created this. I think this was similar to how I painted Tiger. Uh, really loose brush strokes and more water I guess. And here we have another one. I think I saw a reference photo for this somewhere and I tried to repeat it because I wanted to add this background and experiment on how to add the background or should I keep the white spots in between the background so it's just a really fun project and these are also swatches from a watercolor set that I bought these are the most expensive ones I have, but I still prefer the mid-range ones, I don't know. I think I'm more used to them. These are true watercolors, by the way. And this one's an earlier piece, really early. 
Back then, I really painted a lot of fan arts of Caitlin Osman, and I only had the chalky watercolors. And you can tell by the patches here. I like I try I tried to save this painting by adding some strokes from my color pencil. This was December 2018, and yes, Caitlin Osman, my world champion, the black swan. I never really got around to recreate this on a full page, but when I do, I now know not to use my cheap watercolors. And this one is of Azula from Avatar. Just really simple. I tried to create lightning, but I tried searching online on YouTube on how to create lightning, but I had a really difficult time on how to create it, so sorry for these really mediocre blue lines here to represent lightning or the blue flames that she has so yes here I covered up the page I can't remember maybe I really didn't like what I painted behind this so I had added more Azulas on it and here is Lin Beifong my, one of my favorite character in the Korra universe. Well, she's my favorite character in the Korra universe, minus Kyoshi. So this is, I tried to draw her with my style and these are copied off of screenshots from the show. More Lin Bei Fong. This one's a younger version. Out of watercolors and the gold are actually color pencils. My camera is really having a hard time focusing. Maybe I'll add a clear photo somewhere. Marlin, Marlin Beifong. Ah, this one. You can really see the contrast between my art styles when it comes to watercolors, or at least the earlier watercolor paintings that I made. This one's my sketch in my style. I hope that focuses. Yes, there we go. And this one's from watercolor and color pencils. They really look like different people. But it's all in Beifong, I swear. Next, we have more Carmen. You can see the contrast. Watercolor, pencil. Obviously, I excel more on pencil than watercolor at this point because I've only had to practice for a few months. And another one. This time, I really experimented on, on the brush strokes. I really went a bit more loose, and I also wanted to group them. And I wish I did this on a piece of color, watercolor paper that wasn't folded so I can frame this, because I really like this one. Sad. I think I can recreate it because I made it, but it's the original and I think I also got this off of the National Geographic or the Discovery Channel Instagram account as well more random stuff Caitlin Osman tried drawing flowers this one was supposed to start off as Caitlin Osman as well but I realized it didn't look like her so it's now an OC the costume is similar to her and the look but she doesn't look like Caitlyn at all. I like how the dress turned out. I wanted it not I didn't want to use any blacks as well but somehow I still added blacks but it's more purple than black. More food, an earlier painting of Kenya Medvedeva. It's really trying to learn how to do the skin at this point. Really rough. Blending was really off. Although I had this idea on how to do the skin, you can see it over here. Actually, you can see it. 
I didn't want them to really blend, but I want the pigment, uh, the colors to be close to one another. But it turns out it doesn't really work as much on the face, or I just didn't master that technique yet. Sceneries. Urban. This one's, uh, I wanted to create a Victorian straight versus the 21st century. Yeah, the, this one's really different. Space Girl, somehow Galaxy Girl, I wanted to do something different for this and you can see the blend is still really off. I wanted to create a galaxy style -ish. This took a lot of work but I don't think I rendered it to my idea. The nose is good though. I'm really satisfied with the nose. The lips and the eyes could use some work. And more scenery. Went to the sports complex, painted a sunset as it went. And another bird painting. Yes. When I'm lost on how to paint, I paint animals. And I think at this point it's my strong spot. This was this one was made really fast. I painted this at a friend's house while waiting. And yes. From Instagram as well. And another that I wish I painted it on a separate piece of watercolor paper because I want it framed. I can put it at the living room or my room. And yes, that's the last one. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to check out my Instagram to see more of my work. Stay tuned next week for another video. See you then.